Hello everyone and welcome to the third episode of this modding tutorial. Today we are going to put some doors so we can go to that amazing cell we've created. This is meant to be a basement under Nusius house. Let's have a look at the, uh, the house itself, Nusius, and see what we can do in terms of uh, doors or in that case trap door. It's a, it's a tiny place and it's pretty packed. Now, we could place it under the rug. Let's see, we want a trap door, so I'm going to go door. Now, I do know the naming system pretty well, but sometimes there's just too much of it. You can actually order things differently. You could have the IDs in alphabetical order, but in that case, I'm going to put the names of the objects, not their ID, in alphabetical order. That way, I'm going to have all the trapdoors together, and as far as I'm concerned, it's going to be a lot easier to find the one I want. In particular, I'm going to want a trapdoor, a common trapdoor. There I go. Now, these trapdoors, moving around using my Z key, it's pretty big. There's no way I can actually hide it under my rug. Maybe I can hide it under the bed. Now, even under the bed, it's not great. It's a secret room, so okay, Nucius wouldn't go there every day, and it's hard to reach and it's hidden, but it's too big. Remember, we hold S, left mouse button. We're gonna shrink that, not too much, because otherwise, it's not gonna be very realistic. I'm gonna move it in that corner, maybe. I don't want to move the the sack right there, because it's gonna again with a dirty finger fingerprints. If anybody modifies that cell, it's going to say, well, the bag is here, and I say the bag is a bit further, and you're going to end up with duplicate items, and you don't want that. Right. Uh, we can we can try that. It's still a little too big for my taste, but... The fact that it's actually hidden under the bed, I'm not even sure we'll be able to reach it in game we'll have to test that out for now i'm going to leave it as it is and i want this door to go somewhere because if it doesn't go anywhere it's going to pivot in the game world and nothing happens what we want is to make it teleport to another room and there's my secret storage that's exactly where i want to go obviously you can just crawl down to the room you wish to teleport to select marker Right. This is my marker. This is definitely not where I want to be. I'm gonna rotate that. I have to make it go down, get it closer to my corner right there. I want to be careful to not move it too far in the wall or in the furniture because then the NPC would actually spawn stuck in the wall and that's not a pleasant feeling. Brilliant. We have a way to the basement. We're gonna need the, the trap door to go back up. Trap door bottom. We're gonna place it. Now this is a little more delicate because I don't have uh, a ceiling just yet so that's definitely something we're going to tweak later on but we want to go in the corner over there. Once we have a ceiling we can do some more precise work. For now, it looks all right. This is the return ticket. We're going to teleport. Oh, that's interesting. You see, as I select teleport, we have a, a door marker that appeared because right now it is set to teleport right here. Seidelin Vodunius Nustius House is the one we want. Let's go ahead and select the marker. Right now, it spawns the marker next to a door that it knows, but that's not the one I want. I want it to be somewhat there. All right, not stuck in the furniture. That looks all right, that looks all right. Okay. 
There we have it. Brilliant. We have a way in, we have a way out. There's a little more we can do with doors. Specifically, we can have them locked. Open it. There we go. Locked. I could choose to have it locked. Well, it's not a very, very great lock right there. I could make it the best lock ever. But that's not what I'm going to do. I don't want anyone with a, with good uh, security to be able to lockpick. I want a very specific object to unlock the door. Typically, you want a key, naturally. If I scroll down, actually, I'm going to have there a bunch of keys that already exist. It doesn't have to be a key, mind you. It could be absolutely any object that is set as a miscellaneous item. I could. Uh, say that you need to have gold to open the door. It doesn't make sense really, but you could. I don't want to use any of those keys, but we already know how to create our own key. The standard key that's good for me. I'm gonna give it a special ID. Key uh, Lucius. Let's call it a uh, secret storage key to have something, uh, you know, a little coherent. So many times you look at your inventor and you go, what is that? I don't want it to be valuable. I don't want to, the player to go ahead and sell it and make money off a tiny, tiny key. All right, it has a unique ID. It has the attributes I want. I may hit save and create a new object. Now, if you look in there, my key doesn't appear, which is really, really odd even though it does exist, it's right there. No panic, the reason why it doesn't appear here is because I opened this window before I created the object. So if I close it again and open it again, now my key is right there. I could set a trap. Now the traps are actually listed under spell making, if I'm not mistaken, and I believe they're under trap these are the spells that i used as traps but much like you can use any miscellaneous item as key you can use any spell as trap uh, they're not always going to make sense really if you really want to have a trap i recommend picking one of those traps they're there they work unless you have a very specific idea in mind and there we have it we now have a way to go in and out Wait a second, we don't have the key, the player is not going to be able to get in there. Uh, we can give the key to the player through dialogue, but we'll keep that for later. For now, I'm just going to put the key somewhere in there. Now, that chest looks very tempting, but remember, if I put the key in there... Well, actually, let's have a look. How many chest small O2 silverware exist in the game? There it is, there are 22 of them. So if I put the key to the secret storage in there, there's gonna be actually 22 keys in the game. We don't want to do that. Sure, we could put the key in there, create a new object. Again, it's a matter of personal choice, but unless I really, really need that unique object, I try to not create extra references. Think of all the mods you have in your game. Especially if you have Tamriel rebuilt, some of those larger mods. There's so many things to load already. Be kind to your computer. I'm just going to put the key somewhere. On the, on the stool, for example. That will do. That way it's going to, you know, force the player to look around a little bit rather than have everything just handed down to them. Key Lucius. There is now one in the game world. Oh, actually, I can show you. If I hit F right now, you see the key is not going all the way down to the stool because this candle actually has collision. F again. This is the bottom part of the candle. There. 
So F is extremely handy, but you do want to make sure that it, it stopped and collided with what you really wanted it to collide. Brilliant. We now have a basement, a way to go in and out, and there's a key to open it. We're done for today. Thank you guys. See you next week for another episode. Bye-bye.